it's being it's being christened by sweaty bodies slamming into a mat. Yes. Well, we only have two minutes left before the show starts, and I I know that we're not sure what the matches are going to be for tonight until uh, the show commences, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be great matches. Well, as I said, I, I, I'm not around here that much, but hopefully they can impress me while I call their matches. No, I've heard that joke too many times. Shut up. Today is the 4th of May, so... I, I don't care. I've heard that joke too many times. Yes, I know. Uh, don't, don't, don't you dare roar. I can roar better than you. Any day, Solomon. Don't make me go redline on this on this uh, microphone. Don't make me go redline. All right, ladies and gentlemen, only one minute left. Only one minute left. Let us hear you. All right, it is now 12 noon, you know what time it is, it is time for UHW Havoc! All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UHW Havoc. My name is Manuel Maximo, and here to my left, making his UHW commentary debut. Wrong. Wrong! <laughs> I've done it before, but I am the hardcore dragon, Mad Mike Freeman Strath. Well, I said UHW debut. Wrong! I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I have before. But still, thank you for the introduction. No problem today. We have uh, some great matches here for you tonight. And without any further ado, let us get started. The first match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from London, England, weighing in at 129 pounds at a height of 5 foot 9. This is the lady 
Tara Duffield. All right, and her opponent from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, weighing in at 166 pounds at a height of five foot four. This is Nicole. All right. This actually will be uh, their second uh, confrontation each other because actually, uh, Mad Mike. Yep. Right. Um, actually, Tara tried to break uh, Nicole's leg when they last met, and Nicole was able to win uh, via uh, schoolboy roll up and steal the victory. So I'm pretty sure Tyler, Tara is going to remember that. In this well, matchup here, go, possibly go for a le leg again. For all we know, yes. that leg probably hasn't healed since then. That's that's true. And of course, as you saw, Nicole is be our resident nudist, and Mr. Smith has forced her to wear clothes. So please don't she tell she's trying, please don't tell her she's trying to get her tits out. I don't want to see that. Well, she's sending a petition to make sure she she's able to wrestle naked. No, no. Uh, 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 uh. But anyway, there's the belt, and we are on our way here. They're both staring each other down, going for some little bitchy comments, I think, early. In. Oh! oh. Yes, a big slap to the face, but oh, Nicole coming back with a shove. Not liking that at all. It's on now, and Nicole going for a wrist lock. And they're going through a bitching contest while do doing these moves, and Nicole flips out and gets into a wrist lock of her own. Oh, Tara uh, able to... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I think the uh, insulting insulting match is still going on with uh, uh. with uh, 
the words of bitch, whore, classless tramp. Yes, I think it well, is a cat fight, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you, I'm pretty sure you remember it's Zara Delfield, and you know how she is. Well, she was royalty, but then she uh, had the. Now she has the grace of a crack whore. But that's another thing entirely. And a headlock takedown! Now, I don't think anyone has tapped out to a headlock takedown. Take I don't oh, think so headlock. either. No, I don't think first? so either. It no, could be possible. So. Oh, it looks like Dara's gouging Nicole's eyes there. Yes, Tara's known for her cheating ways, and then she denies it that she was cheating. And now, standing back back up, pro probably to get rid of it, to make sure the ref isn't concentrating on that, and whoa! whoa uh, Irish. We're going against the ropes, and arm drag! Beautiful arm drag by Nicole. Nicole bounces Here the comes. ropes. Oh, and a dark drag of uh, her own by Dara. Yeah, returning the favor with her arm drag. A little ex exchange of, of uh, moves there. Dara once again bad mouthing Nicole. Oh, kick her in the jubblies. They're throwing against the ropes. What are you going to do here? Oh, <laughs> ragdolling Ooh. her. Just pulling her hair like that. Alright. In your opinion, Mad Mike, who do you think will win this match? Um, I'm not too sure. I haven't seen these, these two wrestle that much. I've, I have obviously seen Te uh, Lady Tara, but I haven't seen her recently. Before I know she could have got better or worse, and I don't know what Nicole's like. And whoa! Oh, <laughs> and touch world backbreaker! Well, from right now, it looks like Tara might have the advantage here, um, either by technical skill or generally, I think, a little bit of strength. She seems like a little bit bigger of the two. Not saying she's chunky and not say saying she's a, a twig either. She's got muscle. I mean, damn, look at those thighs. She's going for a pin. One, two, yeah, and, and a two count. Only a two. Yes, only a two count. Match continues, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, uh, Lady Tara is in control of the match. But we can't uh, count uh, Nicole out for sure. Because you never know what she's going to come with, come up with. You never know. Uh, hopefully she doesn't take off her top to distract her. I really don't hope that fucking happens. I I'll... And oh, oh, knee. A knee to the gut. I'm throwing her, I think, against the ropes again. Nicole bouncing off. And oh, tackling to the ground, giving us those, those vicious punches to the face. Now give it a stomp. Now Nicole, the thing I want to do here. And oh, vicious stomp to the face. Grinding that boot across the face. And a knee drop. I think she's trying to make Tara, well, make her outside like her inside. Trying I to know, right? her up and go for, the, <laughs> go for the pin. One, and only one count. Lady Tara still complaining about the face there. Well, the face shots are legal. This is wrestling, not ballet. Even though ballet is actually quite horrible on the feet, but still. Go for a pick, uh, picking her up. Again, there's Irish whipping here. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of whipping against the ropes right now. They're bouncing off the ropes today. It's like Nicole's Open ready down. to do. Yes, Nicole's ready to do something. But and oh, famous are by Lady Tara. Nicole wasn't expecting that. And now Lady Tara in complete control of the match, just gloating and just daunting her, just saying that she is the greatest. 
I don't think there's a lot of people in the audience that will agree to that. And now, oh. Oh, looks like she's going for a, a pinfall here. One, two, and no, Tara picking her up. Oh, Lady Tara is just toying with her now. Now Tara sending uh, Nicole right into the corner. Uh, and now Tara is on the other side of the corner. We, uh, this may not be good. Oh, trying to go for it. It looks like Tara was gearing for a move there, and Nicole able to uh, to counter. Both women on the ground, but Tara is getting up. Uh, she's not happy now, just choking her with her foot there. And our referee for today and uh, telling Tara to get out of the, the corner. She had until four and now taking Nicole. She's got Nicole right in the center of the ring. Let's see what she's going to do here. Oh, ho, 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 doing that front, doing that leg drop, not, I'm sorry, doing that, uh, spl uh, splitting that leg there, damaging the leg even further. Pick it up and out, oh! Nicole coming back with a super kick. But still feeling the effects. She looks like she's going to go for the pin here. We got one, two, and then no, only a two count. Nicole just desperately trying to get up here. Nicole taking time for payback. Looks like she's gonna go straight for um for something for Tara. And oh, going for some oh, going for some strikes there. Oh, and just taking Tara down. And I'm back in. Oh, a pink uh, pay attempt. One, two. And a two count. Sorry for that. Some 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 assholes trying trying to threaten me for making good animations. But still, let's let's go back to the match, shall we? Yes. Nicole in complete control of the match here. Let's see what she's going to do here. She's sending uh, Lady Tara right into the corner. Oh my God, they're whipping each other back and forth across this ring. Definitely. An oh. Nicole driving her shoulder right into the stomach of Tara. That was almost a spear in the corner. Now she's going to top, going for some punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the ten. Bam! And oh, oh, DDT. from from there, from the top of the turnbuckle there after those uh, punches. Ladies and gentlemen, right? Oh, and a pinfall. Yeah, this is gonna be it. One, two, and only a two. No. I thought that's gonna be it. 
Yo, and I'd like to say a quick reminder, please uh, take off any scripted items, HUDs, anything that will cause lag. We want this to be a lag-free show, so anything with uh, scripts, please take them, off, take them off immediately. If you have a tummy talker, I'm sorry, we're going to have to abort that, baby. Take it off. Now, kick to the gut. Oh, and it looks like... Oh, go on. Go on, for a power bomb. Oh! A big display of strength there. Power bomb. And now... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh looks like... Uh, Roll it. One, two, two, and three! And three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Lady Tara Duffield. I see a Tara there immediately getting out of the ring. She doesn't want any part of Nicole's rage. That one was a sneaky win at best. And now she's and now Tara's yelling for the medic. What, she now's gonna fix her nose or something? I tell you right now, this isn't over. Definitely not a decisive win. Nicole must be at least somewhat frustrated. She had that match in the palm of her hands and still Definitely. got rolled up. <laughs> and anyway, anyway, um, and yeah, we're just waiting to the back to see what is next. Okay, well, we are ready for our next match here. So, without any further ado, this following contest is scheduled for the one fall. Introducing first, from the Eye of Terror, weighing in at 150 pounds at a height of 5'11", this is Izzy Fateweaver. And her opponent from Springfield, Tennessee, weighing in at 155 pounds at a height of 5 foot 7. This is Rosalind Grace.
Is she scared to go against the BDSM patrol? I'm not sure, but let's try this again. From Springfield, Tennessee, weighing in at 155 pounds. Here she is from 5'7", Rosalind Grace. I, I think she was taking the last few minutes to um, to get prepared and to put on her makeup because, damn, she's got a lot of makeup. I don't think absent mindedness is going to work in the ring. I agree. All right, well, here we go with our second match. Easy feat. We were taking on Rosalind Grace. And Mrs. Fate Weaver over there commenting on her um, on, on, on her opponent being slow. I don't know. She was skipping around fairly quickly to me. So regardless, there is the bell, and we are ready to go. And now these two, I think they're, they're thinking of what they're going to do to one another. Or at least I think Izzy is. Yeah, knowing Izzy, Izzy already knows what she wants to do to Rosalind. Rosalind, I am not too sure. But regardless, well, here they come in the middle of the ring. Apparently she was distracted by a butterfly, which I don't think is going to be good in the ring. Uh, absent mindedness uh, makes fools of us all. And oh my god, she is so controversial. She called Izzy Fate with a mini pooty head. Oh my god, this is the this is the level of controversy we've got here. And going for a lockup. Going for a wrist lock. Now I'm trying to rest that wrist a little bit. And into, an, into a takedown. Now she's, good, she's doing that reverse arm bar right now. Try, trying to wrench on that arm. Trying to work it a little bit. Which is a good strategy if I'm honest. Because if, if they can't use her arm, they can't punch. And also they can't lift you up to slam you. That is true. You know, Izzy is known for her... Um... Her, some of her technical moves and some of her power moves as well. And now Rosa putting Izzy into a vertical base here. And a kick to the gut. And Rosalind, Rosalind showing a lot of hypocrisy, saying you need to relax and be nice while she's pounding her opponent to a bloody pulp. And bam! Clothesline! Isn't that going to be like a critical? Oh, but Izzy comes back with a leg sweep. I know. And, oh, stomp to the... St oh, now she's just stomping the shit out of her. That's big time. And now... Let's see what Izzy's going to do here. Oh, uh, Izzy's saying so you like to kick. Uh-oh. Uh oh, she's got her leg. And Brad oh. jamming that heel into the ground. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Telling you that is painful. I know slamming that heel into the ground and wrenching that calf, trying to tear the tendons apart right there. Yeah. I think she's going to try and do it again. No, let's see. Oh, oh! He, he, he did it again, but even worse. 
Hyperextended, hyperextended the knee. Those hamstrings have got to be burning right now. Well, looks like uh, Miss Rosalind's not going to do any more skipping right now. And now picking her up by the scruff of her very flamboyant hair and go for a wrist lock of her own. And bam! Wrenching on that wrist lock. Skipping around her. Running circles around her. Trying to destroy that wrist. Damn. First she was going for the leg. Now she's going for the arm. Now... Yeah, now she's going for the hammerlock, trying to work the shoulders, trying to work the entire arm, to be quite honest. To be honest, I would work a bit more on that leg. If uh, Roslyn likes to kick, I would just try and get rid of, rid of both her legs, or at least one. Well, I think so too, but maybe... Well, judging by how Izzy's dressed, she probably just wants to exact as much pain as possible. I know Black Widow likes to hurt people. And oh! oh! Countering the hammerlock with the suplex. Uh, Rosalind able to turn around quickly. Uh, Using that momentum taking a while there. To get up. I know, Rosalind's taking a while to get up. Probably from that, from that, that hurt leg of hers. Hmm. And I, and that's right. She is she is uh, favoring that leg of hers, stomping with the other leg. I'm wondering how how much that um, that little leg wrench is going to play play a part in this match and punch in the face. Yeah, she's oh, she's um she's abandoning that kicking game of hers. Now she's going for more of a boxing game. Yep. There she goes back and forth. It's almost going Rocky style. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh and a clothesline. Izzy doesn't know that she, that uh, Rosalind was able to move out of the way. And, oh, and a behind drop kick. I know Rosalind ducking that clothesline by Izzy, showing that set sense of speed and drop kicking her. But I think that was not a good idea. She is favoring that leg of hers still. Yes, but I think she's right there at this moment. She should go for the uh, pin. But I instead, think wants, uh, they just want to punish yep. her more because is uh, I think the the fate weavers are famously known for taking punishment. And uh, oh, jawbreaker! Oh, is he just slamming Roslyn down to the floor? And now is he picking her up? Uh, is he getting up first? Really, she was. She's a bit more wobbly to get up from that. I think she's still a bit rocked from that punching combination. You're saying you can like pain all you want, but that's not going to stop you from um, actually being concussed. That's that is true. And uh oh, oh, uh, is he going for one of her signature moves? It's the Boston Crab. Yeah, the Boston Crab. Uh, also famous, famously um, said. Uh, famously named the Boston Grab by uh, a German called Ludie Graves, and now is he is he boom, uh, my, <laughs> boom, bomb, whatever. She's going for the Boston Crab, trying to wrench that back. Rosalind trying to reach the rope. She's quite far from the rope. She's going to have to do some serious crawling. Now, just look how high. Izzy has got, got that Boston Crab. It's almost like the walls of Jericho. Almost like Izzy's wrenching a knee into the back. I'm surprised her back's not broken. And, yeah, I know. But, oh, it looks like Rosalind yeah. the ropes. She's near the ropes. Sorry about that, sir. That's okay. It looks like Rosa got the ropes just in time. Now, our referee is, Vendetta is trying to have Izzy let go of the move or else she'll be disqualified. Yes, for people who don't know, and you should know, um, when you have a submission on the ropes, they have the tiller five count to let go. And she let go on the, let go on the two count. Now, Ros immediately getting back up. I would immediately get, get back up if you got a back injury. That can make it even worse. Oh, well. Rosa, as dipsy as she is, she is quite a fighter. And now, Izzy, try, trying to think of what else to do. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, we've seen Izzy do this before. It's that surfboard right into the ropes. 
Yeah, which is illegal. The, the ref should be counting. He's just trying to herd that back of Roslyn. You're free counting uh, here. Yes, he's counting. Izzy needs to let go of that. Let go of that hold. Yeah, it looks like she let go of it. Let go of it on the three counts. All right, but oh, oh, the cunt pun! It is the cunt pun. The minge man. Oh. oh, oh, whatever you call it, that is very painful. The baby aborter. <laughs> I'm surprised that is not illegal. It's still a low blow. <laughs> regardless, regardless, is he in control of the match? And Rosa's definitely feeling it. Well, I don't know why she's rolling around as much. It probably is not as painful as they punch the bollocks. And everyone calls bullshit if they say, say it hurts just as much. Bullshit. <laughs> You've never had bollocks, my good man. Now, Anarchy, probably say, saying this as clear as possible, Izzy's making sure that Rosin can't procreate. That's true, and now, and now Izzy just dragging Rosa by the hair. And now dragging in the centre of the ring. I think probably so she can get, go for the pin. Some people would just say, shut up and pin me. I don't want to be in this match anymore if they get a good shot up there. Is he saying meat uh, face meat man and oh ho, ho. flip face buster? I know face hit the mat indeed, and that also actually could hurt the legs, especially how they were how they were extended. Then it's almost oh, like stretching the crotch muscle. Going back to the crotch, huh? It's honestly, have you ever done the splits like that? Tell me now. No, I haven't. Uh, it I'll be honest with you. the crotch. The muscle, not the organ. And oh. going for the pin. We got one. one, two, and no, only a two count. And now, once again, Izzy picking up, Irish whipping uh, Rosa. Oh, we thought she was going to go to the corner, but no! Rosa able to counter in the corner. Rosa able to counter in the corner here. And now... And now Rosa trying to... Sorry about that, guys and gals. Apparently someone wants to silence me. I'm back. <laughs> that, is, that is okay. Um, well, as you can see, Rosa was able to counter uh, Izzy with this oh, uh, bulldog. Oh! That was some oh, and... shit. That's what you did. Some flippy shit there. Rosa back in control of the match. Now, getting her front face lock, I think she's probably going to drag away from the ropes from the big move out of that. You want to pin them. Well, now Rosa in the middle of the ring with the front face lock. Oh! Uh oh. And uh, with a kick. kick. Whoa. Oh, oh, and I oh. Kick, kick that face. Oh, that has got to hurt now. Yeah, well, I'm surprised Roslyn's leg's not hurt from that. Because as she, uh, she's she been working on that leg of hers, and using that much exertion on the leg has got to hurt. It's like when a tie boxer kicks your thigh. You can still use it, but it's going to wreck you trying to use it. That's true. And now, oh! A face buster. Oh, that's got to hurt now. Well, now Rosa once again on one knee. Yeah, probably favoring that leg of us. And oh, going on some more stomp, stopping, stomping the shit out of her. 
Rosa picking up Izzy, see what's going to happen here. Going off the ropes, is Izzy here? I'm whipping off the ropes. Oh, ah. Northern Lights suplex, and it's in the pin. One. Go for the bridge. One, two. two. And no. A three. No, no, it was not a three count, so I, I fucked up. It was a two count. That is that is okay. I was going to say near two count, but I almost said near three count. But now, you know, Rosalind feeling the effects of everything now with the leg and her arm as well. But it is not over. She has Izzy up once again. Now, I, oh, Irish rip again into the ropes. Let's see. Oh, oh but wait, no. Bam! DT rebounding off the ropes. Rosin should have tried the same thing twice as he had that well scouted. That's very good for Izzy there. And now Izzy's stomping away on Rosa. And Izzy's um, partner on in the background is having a mental breakdown for some reason. Get, uh, giggling uh, sadistically. And I like to interpret that as <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, regardless, Izzy in control of the match now. Let's see what she's going to do here. Oh, she's going for one of her, another one of her signatures, the neck wrench. And, yeah, trying to re wrench that neck off. I'm trying to just de almost decapitate, I'd say. Crowd is cheering for Rosa to come back. Oh, bad. Oh, oh. Oh, fall on Ooh, right uh, to the neck. Oh, oh, that's got to hurt. I know. Yeah, she's trying to, the to head break is, that neck. Yes. You know, the, the neck is really, you know, is how soft it is and everything. So that really has to hurt. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Rosa, it looks like she's able to escape. Elbowing out. Definitely. Now, Rosa, she needs to keep up the pace now. And she's got Izzy right where she wants to, but now going off the ropes, getting some momentum, and oh, cyclone oh, kick! Another one of those kicks. I think that was with the injured leg, I don't know. But it got Izzy down to one knee. Yeah, I don't think she had the full power in that one, but oh, oh, I don't care, just knees the face. Oh. She's, re oh, she's got Izzy all uh, dizzy now. And I'll bounce you off the ropes. Let's see what she's going to do here. And, ooh, nice screw kick. And a nice boot to the face. Now, Rosa might be working on pure adrenaline right now. She probably is not Definitely. feeling that leg. But she's going to feel it in the morning. Because she's been using that leg a lot. Definitely. Oh, and go for the knees right there. I say she should have went for the pin after the kick, but I'm yeah. not Rosa. I'm saying, look at this girl. Does she look like she has common sense? Uh, I will get back to you on that. And anyway, Rosa coming over and sw oh. corkscrew swinging neckbreaker. Bam, man. Very political answer. Good job. And now, Ro Rosa getting up. She is definitely wo wobbly. I think it's that leg might be giving out. Definitely. Yeah, and... one... yeah I think that knee gave out for a second. He did, and now let's see what she's going to do here. Oh, do a little oh. handstand. Oh, fearless! Even though her knees giving out, she's still willing to use her legs. I hope she doesn't turn out to be like one of those ex-pro footballers saying, "I could have been something if it didn't bum out my knee." <laughs> And now Rosa, think of what's uh, gonna, what she's going to do. Did she just call the ref an actor lady? Anyway, revolutionary oh. uprise, here comes. Oh! She calls that the revolutionary uprise. Basically, I don't know what it is. It's a flippy shit. She's going for the pin. Got oh. one, two, two, but no, oh. only a two count. 
And Izzy, having her own mental breakdown as she kicks out, giggling as well. Probably in, in the vein of... <laughs> Probably. These two are weird, weird women. But to be honest, when... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, uh, she definitely is weird as seeing as she dresses up like the Black Widow. But anyway, she's going to... Rosin picking up Izzy. Oh, oh, and it kicked to the guy. Kick to the guy, that's right. Let's see what Rose is going to do here. Oh, there's the raindrop. Oh, ho, ho. Damn. Devastating maneuver there. Now, Izzy should not get up from this. She has been taking a whole lot of punishment. And if she does get up, I'm going to conclude that she is supernatural. And now, well, Rosin picking her up by herself. Oh, going for something called the random impulse. And here comes the final kick. Oh, right into the head. <laughs> Rosin I... completely beating the shit out of Izzy. I'm surprised her head is still attached to her body. I'm surprised Izzy isn't bleeding from all orifices and isn't concussed. Well, let's see. Neckbreaker. Oh, going for a neckbreaker here. And an elbow drop. Uh, why does she go for the pin? She is absolutely destroying this woman. No, I'm not sure, but oh. We see this word, the butterfly suplex. Jesus and believe Christ. Me, it wasn't the butterfly from earlier. My God, stop the damn match. This is a murder. She's just making sure. Let's see. Seriously, Let's see what's going to happen here. Match. If this was a boxing match, this would be over wait, wait, wait. a long time ago. She say one more. She's going for a rave, raging hyperactivity. Uh oh, oh. Okay, a whole load of kicks. Yeah, going go, go, But wait, 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 wait! Look. Oh, is he able to catch Rosa with the heretic pike? Going for the pin here. One, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Easy Fate Weaver. And I think that would maybe be by instinctive reaction because no way she's conscious at the moment. She is knocked out. I'm surprised she's not a gibbering mess. I agree with you on that. That was just pure instinct right there. Is that Izzy Rosa should have went for the pin earlier, but she just wanted to deliver more punishment. And say, thank, thank God there's no mic linked up to Izzy because she's probably talking about bagels and what happened last night because she should be fucked up from all that. Oh, she's yeah, she's not even standing. She's like crawling on her knees right now. Probably along the line, she's probably gibbering to herself along the lines of, well, there's a bomb away. <laughs> I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> uh, you are funny. You are a very funny guy, Mike. You're a very funny guy. Oh, cheers. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a beating, and she, she got the combat. Fair props to her. She got the combat victory. Well, regardless, we are going to take a short break uh, with our sponsors. So sit back, relax, and um, we will be right back after these messages.
All right, we'd also like to uh, want to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors for their support of United on the Wrestling. You can find their information and landmarks in the back of the arena and in our animation station. Well, these include Honey Blunt's Designs, Get Like Me, Big Baby Animations by Derek Colt, uh, Dominion Animations, Black Dragon Animations, Future yeah. Base Wrestling... I knew you were going to say something like that. Uh, future, future based wrestling gear, absolute animations, Tyrus the Nova.blogspot.com, Viper Studios, The Dollhouse Photography, and Sinful Desires Dance Club. MY Studios Productions is a company that not only cre- creates both voice and video commercials, but produces game shows, talk shows, and offers promotional marketing services and more. Now hiring voice instructors, actors and actresses, and dependable graphic artists. Contact Maxine Yoshiro, which is Maxine Poison Resident, for more info. A&D, Abyssal Nickel Designs, for all of your eclectic desires. Abyssal Nickel Designs has the latest in mesh clothing, as well as some men's clothing. More that are coming soon. Visit us on the marketplace where you can find all the latest and new twisted designs. We also do custom work at fair prices. Contract Lelandra Lancaster in World for more details or pick up a note card to the Marketplace store. The Dollhouse Photography. If you're looking for that special take on photography, check out the Dollhouse Photography at this site here. Taking appointments, so contact them today. Oh, and make sure you visit our fan page on Facebook where you can catch all the latest in happenings in the UHW. And if anybody wants to keep abreast of in-world happenings, make sure you ask one of our management team for a UHW United Fanatics fan tag. On your way out, don't forget to stop by the official UHW merchandise shop located across the street to pick up your posters, t-shirts, and other commemorative memorabilia, including one-of-a-kind authentic sports rugs of your favorite professional sports teams. And don't forget, folks, the UHW is proud to put on these amazing shows, but we couldn't do it without your generous support. There is a blue donation box right behind commentary, and if you feel so inclined, please drop in a few linden into it to help us keep running. On behalf of everyone here at United Under Wrestling, we thank you for your support. Very good, very good. Very good corporate shilling. You're almost Jerry Styles level. (laughs) Give me a clap. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> anyway, regardless, we it is now time uh, for our main event. I can't hear you, people. It is time for our main event. Louder! See, you've got to command them. They're like sheep. <laughs> That's not the reference to the church thing as well, is it? Uh, no. Um, but good. Yeah, yeah, I totally meant that. Lambs and all that shit. Yes. What's the Bible? Yes. Well, regardless, it is time for our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the United Universal Championship. Introducing first... Fast. Yes. Introducing first the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 194 pounds, at a height of five foot ten, this is James Icarus the Third. Which he is not liked here, so.
and his opponent from Sunderland, England, weighing in at 350 pounds at a height of five, a seven foot three inches. He is the United Universal Champion, Mac Galeth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the United Universal Championship. The challenger is James Icarus III, the champion being Matt Galeth. And these two definitely have a history together, so... Well, care to explain for the uninitiated? Well, it's been, like, it's, well, um, it's basically James has been interfering in Max's matches most of the time. And it's just... How can I, how can I explain over, this? Being an overall asshole. I guess Pretty you. much, yes. Pretty well, much. I've, I've already got my favorite for this match, and that is Mark over there, because... Or Mac. Because, one, he's from England. A up, buddy. Well, I don't know anybody. A up, mate. And James looks like a NERD! Who the hell wears that in a match? Yeah, shut up, nerd. And give... I'm sorry, did I make you speechless? No, it's not that, it's just... Man, Max uh, he's a thermal detonator, regardless. But anyway, we're just waiting on the referee to begin the match, and there is the bell! And also, given the fact, I think he's he's Mac is over to I'd say two hundred pounds over. And I'm James. Well, or about um, hundred fifty, yeah. maybe. Well, he looks like about three weight classes above him. It looks like his pecs are as big as uh, James's head, and all oh, chops to the chest. Oh. And oh, immediately. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. In the ribs. Yes, but immediately James did the eye rig before he did those kicks. Yeah, try, try to blind him so he can't block those strikes, and now James is panning on the pressure onto um, the Mac Daddy. Um, just, and oh, bounce your throat. Rolling thunder! This is what you got to do against a big man. Oh, I'm sorry, you speak on. 
Yeah. Oh yes, and uh, definitely trying to uh, you know trying to be quick on their feet. Yeah, you've you've got to ground a big man like this. Uh, with with a big man like this, you need to knock them down and make sure they do not recover. Those muscles they require a uh, whole lot of cardio. You need a lot of blood to rush rush into those muscles, and if you can make them and tired from just taking the beating, all the better. Make, make them work. Make them work as fast as possible. Make them go to your pace. Now both men are back to their feet. Nearly at the same time. James yeah, but... bounce your throats again. Oh! Oh, trying to go, oh, trying to go for Eric Arana! Oh! Yeah. oh. Trying to go oh. for that Eric Arana, but... And, uh, devastating power bomb. Devastating. I I I felt the match shake. Now picking him up. Now this is what James doesn't want. He doesn't want Matt to go at his pace and start doing a no. slow, powerful oh, oh, pace. Like that backbreaker right there. Snapping his back like a twig. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh torture wreck. His shoulders are so big, I'm surprised he's not just going to break him like a bane. I know, there's someone saying in the background, I, lo I love it. And, oh, counting it to DDT. He unhooked his arm and went for, and just dived into that DDT, but James is feeling it. He, he probably has popped a rib or popped a, a, a disc in his spine. It sounds like it. Because, you know, James is not uh, coming up to retaliate, but... This should be... Well, James has to try to get up because, you know, Mac, once he's up, once again... Oh, the balls of James after a back injury just getting up quickly. I, if I had a back injury, I would take a while. I don't want to pop a disc. Yeah, but through, but there comes James right back up. Both men yeah, locking Mac, up. Yeah, both men locking up. I, I don't know what James is trying to accomplish with locking up with this big man. He could just shove him and make him go flying. With a big guy like this, you need to be on the outside. You'd need to... I, I recommend him be on the outside to start chopping at the leg. And see, it makes my poor Mac just throwing him against the ropes. Oh, she uh, bounding off. Bam! Cross Ooh. body. Beautiful cross body fight by Mike there. By yeah, James. That, Oops. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, but no, that's another way, way the small guy this can win the match. Just fl fly off the walls. Make sure you're not getting close. Make sure he doesn't slam you. Because a big man like that, those slams hurt. I can imagine now Icarus going off the ropes again. Oh, and a nice knee Ooh. drop. I didn't know if that was to the head, though. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell either, but James is thinking what to do. I think he's going to try and go on the top rope now. Yeah, that's where he's most dangerous in the top rope. But James is taking his time. He has to move quickly. And uh, he's, si he's sizing up Mac, which I wouldn't say is a good idea. As I said, you need to put the pressure on this big man. Uh oh, flying oh. splash! Here go oh! oh, crash and burn. Mac able to get out of the way just in time. And I don't yeah. mean Justine time as our women's champion. Okay. Anyway, Mac is now favoring that arm. I think he might have caught his arm a little bit when he rolled out. But I'd rather take it to the arm than, than to the face or the chest. I'm sorry. And now Mac in control of the match, dragging James right into the center of the ring. Oh! oh! Giant elbow right into the legs. And I rise that knee joint. I think he's just trying to separate that knee. Yeah, you could be right there. Now picking up, trying to do some more damage. Yeah, this this is what you don't want to happen. You don't want this him to get into his rhythm. Don't want him to get close and start just chucking around like a rag doll. And Mag bounces off the ropes. Oh, that close oh. took his face off. That was a narrow dodge. Definitely. I, bet I don't James think Mac even knows. God. Oh, Bulldog. I'm sorry, what was you going to say? I said, Mac, I guess Mac did not know that James able to get out of the way, but it's too late. Yeah, I caught him with that Bulldog. 
Yeah, Matt going on full adrenaline mode there. He went full steam and overcommitted to that. James, once again, up the top rope. Let's see what he's going to do this time. And oh! And elbow drop. Bam. This one connects. Let's go for a pin. We got one, one two, two, and, and only no. Two only a two count. As you said, yes. Now, I think I think um, oh, Mac is getting up. He is pissed, and I think James wants to get get out of the way right now. He doesn't. Oh, kicks oh, James the ribs. Is, he's going to continue. Oh, continue with the offense with those kicks, sending Mac down right to the mat once again. Well, he's keeping the pressure on. Now, picking him up. What's he going to do here? Uh oh, 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 he tried to go for Inzaguri, but got interrupted, <laughs> hitting him with that lariat. Well, Matt, catch the kick in just a clothesline right in the chin, nearly knocking his face off. You see him flip, he went inside out. Definitely. Oh, which he's, oh, oh. he's going for. Oh, going for right punch, left punch. Oh, oh that bionic, that bionic elbow. Now I have to tell you, Mac. About two years ago, he had a surgery on that. Oh, oh. trying, to, trying to do that Lutas press, but Mac had surgery on that elbow, and he actually has a metal plate inside. Well, so, is that he's still got it in? My, it's still my in, yes. The athletic commission here is bogus. And now, James picking him up. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, picking him up. What are you going to do here? Oh, oh, oh. spiking him into the mat. Spiking him right in the mat. Oh, oh, both their weight going on that neck. I'm surprised this man is not dead. You're telling me. He has a bit more. Oh, now he's moving. Uh, I was going to say. Dead, he... He's very concussed. Oh, he's taking a while to get up. He's wobbly. He's he's on chicken legs right now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. oh, oh, oh. T bones. It looks like a T bone oh. suplex. A series of T bone suplexes. He's gone. Referee is counting. If she goes up to 10, this could be a, a, a win by knockout. Well, can, can you withstand all that with this big man? Uh, I wouldn't. I would, but that's something different. But still, yes. James, I think yeah, you're but, seeing stars. Yeah, but you are a former wrestler. I'm just a journalist. But regardless, uh, referee's at 5. Oh, my. I, I think Mac is going to get back up. Referee said six. Way. Max, in a uh, very stoic way, is egging him to get back uh -oh. up. Get yeah. up! Uh oh. He's, he, uh, I know what he's going for. He's I know what he's going for here. Count. Uh, and he's able to get back. Here comes Mac. Oh! oh! Spear. Devastating spear by Mac. Now, if he, if he is from England, then that was straight up rugby tackle. My Mac is not done. Oh, here it comes. He's going. F looks like he's setting him up for his finisher. And, oh, there it is. That devastator stunner. Oh, oh, gosh. That, that looked brutal. Face right into the shoulder. Mac now telling the, telling the ref to count. Uh, there's the count there, one. Yeah, he is but, out. Yes, he is out. We, we could have a knockout victory here. I think we just stopped the match for mercy's sakes. This is, a, this is a classic case of the job giving the nerd a nuggie. Referee up to four. Now Vendaya uh, giving him plenty of chance to get up. She she is like oh she's crouching down. She's concerned for this man's welfare. 
Already up to six. And referee seven. He has. He's. He hasn't moved yet. Already up to eight. My God, I think. I think uh, Max is going to make sure this Nine. guy is not. Oh, there's a ten. Count. And that's it. That's out. it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by knockout and still the United Universal Champion, Mac Galeth. That was domination. Well, Mac Galeth still, Mac Galeth still the United Universal Champion. And definitely by by knockout. Uh, the, I don't think. I mean, James barely um, got up the first time, but the second time, no, that was it. I don't even see see it moving. I think he's just twitching. Well, sad, sad to say, James lives in America. He is not going to be insured after this. Especially where he lives, he lives in uh, Las Vegas. Refer referee is still checking. Uh, he's she's still checking on James, making sure if he's even alive. This man has not moved since that move. Oh, I speak to you soon. He is. He's just. Oh, he's getting up quite quickly for that. I think he should take a while to get up. Oh, definitely. He'll probably just fall over again. If, if anyone has had a concussion, don't get up quickly. Yeah. That is that is true, that's true. And um, well, he's moving very very slowly, which is good. At least he's moving. Yeah, but, I think I think it's a mixture of James trying to get up, but just slipping forward a little bit. And now I think he's just trying to crawl, trying to save the embarrassment of just getting dominated in that match. And I have to say that is why Matt Gillett is the our current uh, Universal Champion. Anyway, while well, regardless, while well, Vendetta, our referee, helps James to the back, uh, we would like to thank everyone for coming here tonight. Uh, be sure to uh, come by tomorrow at 3 p.m. SLT for a DNA, and next Monday here on Havoc at noon. So until then, this is Manuel Maximo. And this is a dragon dude. Hello, Mad Mike Freeman's draft. Yes, we will see you tomorrow and we will see you next week. Thank you very much and have a good night. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions, and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.